Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 26th of 2023 well, it is titled Virgo Cluster Galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, this is a portion of the Virgo Cluster of Galaxies. And this is an example of a galaxy cluster in a relatively nearby one and only about 50 million light years away. And in fact, on the large scales of the universe, our local group of galaxies is kind of on the edge of the Virgo super cluster of galaxies. So very close neighboring galaxies of ours, even though, as again, they are 50 million light years away, they are still in our local region of the universe. So when we consider that we can see galaxies that are 13 billion light years away, those that are only 50 million light years away are actually relatively close to us. Now, as you look at this image, the vast majority of objects that you see are galaxies. And you can see a number of the dominant giant elliptical galaxies that are very prominent towards the center of the Virgo cluster. We'll also see some spiral galaxies scattered around here. Spiral galaxies have a tendency to remain toward the outskirts of the clusters. And do remember that this is would be three dimensional. So we're, these are not all on a flat plane. So what looks like a spiral galaxy right in the middle could actually be on the far side of this cluster out toward the outskirts of the cluster. So that's why would that why would spiral galaxies not near be near the center of a cluster? Well, that's likely because of the collisions as galaxies collide together, you can very easily deplete the gas within a spiral galaxy and stir the galaxies up so much that it could become elliptical. In fact, that is one of the predictions that might happen with our own Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy, that they could turn into a larger elliptical galaxy in a collision that will occur in several billion years as those two galaxies are moving closer and closer together. Now, the prominent galaxy, the dominant one is the galaxy known as M87 down towards the bottom of the image here. And that is one of the galaxies, although all of these would have a supermassive black hole. It is the one that was first imaged by the Event Horizon Telescope, giving us a look at the inner workings of the galaxy and being able to study that black hole at the center by seeing the shadow of its outline against the background material. So while we can't see emission from a black hole, they don't emit anything because their escape velocity is too great. However, we can see the darkness of them against the background region. And we have now imaged, imaged central black holes in things like M87 shown here, as well as our own Milky Way galaxy. Now the other prominent set of galaxies that we see here, also part of the Virgo cluster is what is known as Markarian's chain. And that is towards the left side here with two elliptical galaxies towards the top, and then almost a line of galaxies going down and slightly to the left. That's an example of a number of galaxies there that just happen to line up from our point of view as we look at them in the sky. So we get to see again a great number of galaxies here as part of the Virgo cluster of galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for May 26th of 2023. It was titled Virgo cluster galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Crescent, Neptune and Triton. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.